Okay. All right, you ready? Clear prop. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, so this, this, we got done with the model. I'm very happy with this. So we're gonna fly this first and then we'll touch on a lot of topics because this is gonna be a pretty, pretty cluster, um, whatever of a video. All right, check that out, Sam. Look at that tail. Now look at that tail. Whoa. Mess with chloroplast, so it's kind of the first for me. I was like doing a lot of studying and researching on how to you know actually build something out of chloroplast, like studying like SPAD, which is simple plastic airplane design. So this whole entire tail, ready to fly, weighs 12 pounds. It's not exactly on the light side, but it's, it's not on the heavy side either because the T-tail has to be a little bit overbuilt for a number of reasons because the elevator is simply up here. So if I were to like let's say I did a really crappy crosswind landing and I did a side load on the tail. That would put a severe amount of stress, especially on the mounting points down there. So I have to be very careful of that. So I kind of overbuilt that a little bit to make sure this is really strong. Anyways, um, yeah, so here it is compared to the actual relative distance of where it's gonna be on the actual ultralight. There's the mini ultralight, as you can see. Um, I've been doing a lot of thinking lately. I think I'll talk about this on the road, but right now I have to go to Sun and Fun and go do some research on the covering of this airplane because I haven't figured out how to build wings yet. And I thought of something kind of cool. Let's go. Just here out in Paradise City. Many uh, wonderful orange 
bros. All right, guys. So looks like I've made it to Sudden Fun now. Now I actually came down here to check out Ortex, and I checked out their covering, and it's actually really cool. It looks like I will probably be using that in my new wing design. I've had to iterate it like four or five times now to get the perfect design, but I am happy with it now. So I guess we're gonna check out the rest of Sudden Fun. Actually, no, no. Before we do that, I I should probably should probably talk about the actual airframe design. All right. So I noticed there was a lot of comments. People saying I should build this. I should do that. I should maybe just build a. What was that plane called? I should build a Sky Pup, which is basically a big foam airplane that's uh, very lightweight and, and that would work almost, but the problem is I had a very specific mission criteria. Now the mission criteria for this specific new design was to be lightweight, 150 pounds, empty, without fuel, without me in it. So that's what I'm hoping to do with that. It's also supposed to use the new two strokes because I'm looking at all these new power plants and they're really efficient, they work really well, and they're becoming more affordable. So that's why I went with what I'm doing. And there was no specific design in the market that could actually fit the bill for that. So I have to actually design the airframe for this, which is why I'm going through all these design changes and design iterations. Now, another thing, it had to be portable too, because I, I have, if you guys have seen them in my shop, you've probably seen the Aerolite. The Aerolite does not work for a number of reasons because it's kind of hard to take apart. And when you do take it apart, it's kind of hard to transport because I have to make something just specifically for the tail so it doesn't flip flop all over the place. So that design doesn't quite fit the bill either, which is why I've looked at all the other ultralights. And plus, it's just not interesting if I actually buy a store bought ultralight and make that a video about it. Some people just really want to see me design something. So I had to go, I had to really spe specify the mission for this next airplane because I screwed up last time. Now I noticed there was one comment that really kind of stuck out. I will pull it up. But yes, a viewer pointed out another comment saying like the first design, I probably should have done more with that. I'm not sure if he's talking about the first or exactly the second one. The second one, I actually had to call a duck a duck on that one. That plane was not so much what I wanted. That was more of a failure on my part to really kind of analyze what I wanted to do and I was a little more rushed to actually build something. So the second one is definitely scrap. I'm just parting it out, pulling the parts off of it. So it's not a total loss, but the reason why for that one was it was just too big and too heavy because it was built to hold, you know, the bigger engine. And also, I probably could get it to work, but the thing is, I was just basically building our ultra at that stage and I really should have built something smaller or something for me and something easy to transport and something that runs with the lighter two strokes. So I guess that's where we are right now. I guess. That's probably it for this video. It's kind of, you know, boring. We, I, did, we, I guess we got the tail section done, but hopefully in the next couple of weeks, I will have the fuselage all welded up and the wings being built, and that'll be in part three of this specific ultralight build. And I hope to actually get it done pretty soon. So I will see you guys in the next video.